hearing, again, is in a hybrid format, our witnesses in person. Thank you, Chair Powell. Members have the option to appear either in person or virtually. I want to start by acknowledging as we sit here this morning, Ukrainians are showing such courage and resolve. By How does the Fed, Mr. Chair, evaluate the economic uncertainty caused by Putin's actions? What steps do you take to mitigate those risks like inflation? Well, what we know so far is that commodity prices have moved up significantly, energy prices in particular. That's going to work its way through our U.S. economy. We're going to see uh, upward pressure on inflation, at least for a while. Right. This is a great labor market for workers, particularly workers at the, at the lower, in the lower quartile of earning, uh, who are getting the biggest wage increases and really uh, very, very high wage increases. So um, the problem really that we're facing is one of high inflation. Have you looked at what $125 a barrel looks like, $150 a barrel, even $175 a barrel, what that might mean in terms of growth and inflation? You know, for every ten dollars, and it, this could, the, the thing that matters more than anything is how long is it does it persist for? Mm -hmm. You can have an oil spike, mm -hmm. and if it just comes and goes, it won't. It'll prices will go up, but it won't actually affect ongoing inflation. That's really the key thing. Um, but you know, I think it's I want to say ten dollars uh, of oil, and I hope I don't get this wrong, is is like two tenths, something like that, of inflation. Of inflation. Yeah. And a lot of it was draconian. You have to do it. Is the leadership at the Fed under you and the Fed prepared to do what it takes to get inflation under control uh, and protect price stability? Well, let me say I knew Paul Volcker. I, I'm pretty sure I saw him testify in this room many years ago. I think he was one of the great public servants of the era, the greatest economic public servant wow. of the era. And I hope history will re record that the answer to your question is yes. So you're, at, you're, you're prepared to do what it takes without any reservation to uh, protect price stability. Yes. And that would be a departure of what you've done.